You see, the sad thing about all this, folks, in dealing with such an um, inaccurate criticism of Reformed theology, I don't do this out of some uh, uh, dedication to the Calvinist club. To be perfectly honest with you, over the past number of years, I've become pretty sick and tired of the Calvinist club, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, if I didn't if the, if, the phrase, if the phrase and the descriptor was not an accurate one and a necessary one to be able to differentiate between beliefs, I don't know that I even use it. Um, I was just looking at a, a comment from a quote-unquote Calvinist, a, a TR, a truly Reformed guy, last night. Um, somebody had said something kind about Jeff Durbin on Facebook. And it was just giving praise to God for the things that he had learned from um, Apologia and from the, the ministry there and from, you know, witnessing the Mormons and, and all sorts of stuff like that. That's all it was about. It wasn't putting anybody else down. It was just, you know, I'm really thankful for what the Lord's done uh, through them for, for me. And I think I got mentioned in, in passing as well. Um, and this TR guy comes along. And just illustrated for me um, just what really turns me off about a lot of Calvinists today. And just plows into, well, you, you decide to take this opportunity um, to plow into Marcus Pittman on a completely different issue. And I read it, I, and I, I clicked on the reply thing, and I had my fingers poised over the keyboard, and I just said, I, I just can't do it. But what I wanted to say was, you, sir, are just gave the, the best illustration of not only why I, I don't even want to be a part of this club. I've never wanted to be a part of a club. I believe these things because the very same exegesis that I use to defend the Trinity and the deity of Christ and the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ to the Muslims forces me to believe these things because it's the same Bible and it's the same way of interpreting it. And of course, I find it grossly inconsistent that those who claim to embrace this theology could at the same time uh, be arrogant, ungracious, unloving, unkind, and constantly drawing their swords and, and lopping people's Armenian ears off just for the blood sport of it. Those of you on Facebook and Twitter and chat rooms and things like that that call yourself Calvinist, if you can't start acting with grace, get back in your cage, please, for the good of the rest of us and for the good of everybody that you're ripping their ears off. Go find yourself that book, that little booklet, it's just a little booklet, Banner of Truth, The Practical Implications of Calvinism. Read it ten times over before you post anything else anywhere on Facebook, okay? Please. 